The highly crafted rubber-soled running shoe, so much a part of modern leisure time pursuits, has had a long and gradual evolution. Modern designs are engineered to absorb the heavy impact that comes from running on hard, unyielding surfaces, and vulcanised rubber is essential to their construction. It was the rise in the prominence of sports that brought about the need for more scientifically formulated footwear. In 1925, Adolf Dassler created a range of shoes tailored for particular track events. But it was not until the 1970s that research and development transformed the sneaker into the high-tech running shoe we're familiar with today. These research programs continue to refine sport shoe design. Since the 1980s, long-distance running shoes with heavily cushioned heels and features to minimise unwanted rolling of the heel have been recommended to runners wanting to avoid damage. Still, many recreational runners continue to sustain injuries. New microchip systems that detect the hardness of the surface and then adjust the cushioning effect of the heel have been trialled. But as yet, the lightweight technology for such systems is still not lightweight enough. A very important feature of the modern running shoe is the way it looks. And today, most of the changes that occur in sports shoes are to do with their appearance. The market for athletic shoes is huge, close to $5 billion each year. And prominent athletes get fat contracts to promote different shoe manufacturers' designs. It's fitness equipment with a fashion statement and a very special niche in popular culture.